Moving on now, the process and qualifications for making Aliyah can vary depending on where you come from. For example, Russian nationals' status may differ based on whether they're seeking to relocate from the U.S. or from Russia. Now here to give us some legal advice on what to expect is Irena Rosenberg from Cohen, Decker, Pex, and Broch Law Offices, who specializes in immigration. Thank you so much for joining me today. My pleasure. So from which countries do you get uh, most of these inquiries, in inquiries, excuse me, and who is eligible to apply? Uh, we get the inquiries from all over the world, but uh, most of the inquiries uh, uh, are from uh, uh, Russia, Ukraine, and the United States. Interesting. Um, and how does that process differ between um, the U.S., Russia, and Europe? So, uh, first of all, I have uh, to uh, notice that uh, uh, Jews, as well as their children and grandchildren, are eligible to uh, get Israeli citizenship based on the law of return. So, uh, the processes uh, are different for uh, Jews and their children and grandchildren uh, if uh, the person has uh, uh, Russian citizenship or U.S. citizenship. If the person has uh, uh, U.S. citizenship, he has to provide the Jewish agency, uh, which uh, is uh, reviewed uh, the eligibility of uh, this person. He has to provide uh, the Jewish agency with the letter from the recognized rabbi stating that this person uh, is uh, Jewish or that this person has Jewish roots. Uh, so, if uh, we are speaking about uh, Russian citizens, in this case, the person has uh, to turn to the consular department native and to provide uh, the official documents uh, with the nationality stating that uh, uh, this person has uh, uh, Jewish uh, ancestors. And what happens if the applicant um, was born in Russia but has American citizenship? Uh, in this case, the person has uh, to provide uh, the consular department native with uh, uh, the document stating that uh, he has uh, Jewish ancestors and it has to be uh, official original documents. And uh, for many Americans, it's a real shock because uh, many of them, they moved to the United States in very, very early age and many of them, they even don't speak uh, Russian. So, in such cases, we help to these people to get uh, to restore the documents from Russia in order to get Aliyah. So, you obviously deal with a lot of uh, unique cases. Can you perhaps give us an example of a particularly complicated case that you overcame and found solutions for? We have uh, a lot of uh, cases where we have to restore the documents from for uh, American citizens uh, who uh, are originally uh, Russian, uh, so uh, and uh, uh, the most of the cases, 99 and 9 uh, uh, percent, uh, we successfully uh, restore the documents and uh, we successfully uh, win uh, the cases and uh, help to our clients. Great, Irena Rosenberg, thank you very much for joining me today. My pleasure, thank you.